what's going on guys? This is Alvi from Techitron and this is the FND W12 Bluetooth speaker. Yeah, it's a big mouthful. So today I'm reviewing the speaker and I'm gonna basically do an audio demonstration and live pairing right in front of you. And if you're wondering, we got the speaker from our friends at peekaboo.com. If you haven't heard of them, I've left a link in the description below. So if you want to purchase one of these, you can go there and check it out. It costs 2,600 taka. And for our friends living in India, this thing actually retails for 2,600 rupees and you can find it on Amazon.in. Both the links are in the description below. But before I start this actual review, let me remind you, if you like our content, give us a big thumbs up and definitely subscribe. I believe the button's right there somewhere. Definitely hit that button, it helps us a lot, support us. And if you have any feedback, just leave it in the comments below. I'll try and get back to you. So let's go over the build first. This thing is made up of mainly plastic and rubber. All this gray part that you see here, this is plastic. And this red top and bottom parts, these are both made of rubber. Now, you might be wondering what these things are here, these bungee cords. And they're basically for you to hang it onto something or maybe loop the speaker onto someplace convenient. And what exactly is this place? Well, it might be a shower because this Bluetooth speaker is technically waterproof. Now that's what it says in the description, but what I found online is when you dunk the speaker into water, it kind of cuts the Bluetooth connection, so you really won't be submerging it. But I've tested it with water splashing on it, and it works fine. These bungee cords, by the way, are adjustable, and there are some cords here on the back that make this, you know, shorten and lengthen. And essentially what this allows you to do is have a bit of freedom in how you want to hang this device up or just place it anywhere. On the front side is the main speaker, but on the rear we have what seems to be a pass-through subwoofer. Now, the description of this thing says they have 1.75 inch neodymium drivers, and you'll hear the audio in a bit, but for now let's just take that into consideration. The buttons are over here along the top, and they're a bit difficult to see, especially if you're sitting over there where the camera is. But I'll go and maybe zoom in a little bit and give you a closer look if I can. They're into the rubber thing, they're nice and clicky. Yeah, so you can hear that, right? And they're made pretty well, but on the opposite side, you have a flap. And this flap is what you have to take off for accessing the charging port, which is a micro USB port, as well as the 3.5 millimeter auxiliary port. So not only can you listen to music through Bluetooth, you can also plug in your smartphone through an aux cable and still get some pretty good audio. Enough chit chat about what this is. Let's listen to the actual audio first. So I'm gonna go through the Bluetooth pairing process over here live so you can get an idea of how quickly or easily it pairs. So all you have to do is press and hold the circle button and wait. See, so it's activated. And you'll also see a flashing blue light over here and I just find it on my smartphone and we're connected. So some of you probably are familiar with this track but let's take a listen to it. So, um, it's kind of redundant making you guys listen to this audio over a shotgun mic. You really won't be able to tell the detail or the depth of the bass from where you're sitting and based on what headphones you're using. But for some initial feedback, I'll just tell you this. It sounds pretty good. It's pretty clear. Uh, the audio doesn't really go really that loud, but the bass is actually kind of recognizable given that it's separated on the back. So if you're in a small room like I am right now, this speaker is quite adequate for filling up the entire room with, with some music. And I didn't actually try speaking over the Bluetooth speaker because you really wouldn't be able to hear anything. And I hope it's not a little too loud for this microphone on my camera. But let's listen to something else, something a little more, let's say, closer to home. And of course, 
how could I not play something from our own channel before I get done with this? Well in low light, and the autofocus is also super fast at about 0.3 seconds. Now the size of each pixel is 1.25 microns, and what that means is when light enters into this... So yeah, it handles speech pretty clearly and nicely as well. Battery life is super important for a Bluetooth speaker, and this one's website claims you'll get beyond 5 hours of use. But that's only true if you're using an auxiliary cable. If you're using Bluetooth, you'll get more around 3 or 3.5 hours of use, but I think that's still okay if you're keeping this at full volume. So let's round this review up. Because of the waterproof design, I think this speaker is great for taking outdoors or if you even want to listen to music in the shower. But don't dunk this into a bucket of water, it's going to automatically cut off the Bluetooth connection and you'll have to repair again. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. Although these speakers aren't crazy loud, they're loud enough to fill a small room like the one I'm in right now with audio, so that's not really an issue over here. I think for the price point that's also very good. All in all, I enjoyed using the speaker over the past couple weeks. If you want to get the speaker, it costs 2,600 taka, and you can get it from peekaboo.com. I've left the link in the description below. If you're living in India, I believe this is available on Snapdeal as well as on Amazon.in for 2,600 rupees. So I've added those links for you guys as well. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, definitely give us a big thumbs up and do subscribe because those two help us out a lot. I've also added the links to my Snapchat account as well as my fan page, so check the links in the description if you want to see what happens behind the scenes and get some early access to what we do here at Techitron. Also comment your questions or whatever else in the comment section below. I go through almost all the comments that I can and try replying to as many of them as possible. So if you have a question, definitely shoot over there. I'll try and get back to you. Thanks for watching this review guys. I'll see you in the next one. Hello Alavi, this is take two with the mic on. Use this, not the other clips. Gotta cut. Cut, cut, cut. Alright. Play in the highlight.